Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Young Justice Outsiders Part 1 and Part 2. Part 1 came out on Wednesday and Part 2 came out uh, today uh, on DC Universe, so it is an exclusive comic and uh, getting us ready for tomorrow, which is the Young Justice Outsiders premiere, which actually I already did a review for episodes 1 through 3, so definitely go check that out. And of course, I'll continue to do reviews for Young Justice. Now, getting into this issue, this is a McGon and Superboy issues. If you're a fan of the couple, fan of these characters, uh, which I know a lot of us are, uh, you're going to enjoy this one because I love this issue. This was classic Young Justice for me. Uh, with this one we get to see, this is after the events of Young Justice Invasion where Superboy is still angry at Miss Martian for the, all the memory stuff in, in that season uh, and kind of has forg uh, forgiven her but hasn't. Uh, so uh, this is really them dealing with that and they have to go on a mission together with Batgirl, which is cool because we do not get to see enough of Barbara Gordon in this show. Uh, at least in season two I wanted a, a lot more of her because she's Barbara Gordon and it's nice to see her on a mission, uh, a, a close mission like this where it's just three characters where you really get to see her personality. Uh, so they are going up against Simon where, and I love that Gar was on this mission too, really showing the sister and brother dynamic and they're talking to uh, the person who plays the mother on, on uh, Hello Megan. So they, they ask a question because of Superboy, which is a really cute moment, and says, hey, you know, how was, uh, you know, the actress who played your daughter, who is Gar's mother, which we know from uh, season one. Uh, and then they introduce themselves, and it's a really cool moment. But Simon to totally sabotages that because they, um, he attacks them and puts, uh, puts Superboy, Gar, and, uh, and McGon in Hello Megan, in her head, but also having to deal with the main thought here, the main idea, which is Superboy and, and McGon not talking to each other and or at least being angry at each other and, and not truly forgiving forgiving each other, at least Superboy not forgiving McGon. So it's really tackling that through a scope of Hello Megan, uh, which I think uh, Young Justice does the best here. Um, I love the psychological stories that they could tell, um, like, uh, you know, through uh, Hello Megan and and what McGon, you know, likes. So I, I've, I've always enjoyed that aspect. And I think some of the best episodes are when we get into McGon's head like this and, and how she kind of uh, separates things. Uh, so I really enjoyed uh, the structure for this issue. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I just... Loved how classic this issue was. Uh, another great thing is obviously we get the collaborators of the original Young Justice um, tie-in comic books. Uh, Christopher Jones is back on this as well with Greg Wiseman. And uh, I love Christopher Jones' artwork. I don't have his art anymore on here. Uh, it's in another room. But I did have a, a Batgirl's art thing in the back. So I've always enjoyed his art a lot. And one thing I love is that it looks like the Young Justice show. Sometimes with these uh, TV on, um, adaptations with comics, we we get to see it kind of looks like the animation, but they do their own thing. Uh, I like when we, especially for cartoons, to see kind of an exact style of the animation, and Christopher Jones does that so well, uh, but still brings like kind of a cartoony vibe, uh, even more cartoonier vibe uh, than the television show, which I think some of the designs are... Um, I don't want to say more mature, but I guess a little bit more mature, and then we get the cartoonier look for the comic, which I like. I like that contrast a lot. So it's a little different, but still in the style of uh, of Young Justice. So overall, um, this is such a pleasure. This is exactly what I want Young Justice to be, and I'm excited for Young, hopefully Young Justice Outsiders to be in the show. Uh, so I'm going to overall give this four and a half stars. Uh, if you're a Young Justice fan, do yourself a favor and read this. It's really good, and uh, also do yourself a favor to read it so we get more. I want to see more of these tie-in comics uh, from this creative team. I've always enjoyed them and how, how much it's kind of its own thing but still able to flesh out the television show. It's such a great balance. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Uh, don't, uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.